This week, the scandal over edited K-lines at a major exchange has been everywhere, so much so that it has been shocked traditional finance. People have long suspected black box behavior at centralized exchanges, but there's rarely been statistical proof, and this episode has deepened the trust crisis around sex. It's a good moment to clarify that the blockchain industry isn't just one kind of venue. Exchanges in crypto come in several distinct forms with very different architectures, logic, and risk profiles. The first is the centralized exchange, SEX. Think Binance or Coinbase, whose strengths are speed, deep liquidity, and smooth UX. But the downside is obvious. Data and assets sit in the platform's hands. If it can edit a chart, it can edit a record, and trust ends up depending on a single institution's discretion. Over the past decade, crypto has paid dearly for that model. In 2014, MT Gox, then handling over 70% of global Bitcoin trades, lost 850,000 BTC overnight, the moment the industry learned that a decentralized coin can still vanish on a centralized platform. Self-custody, private keys, and cold wallet makers grew from that lesson. Eight years later, FTX's collapse proved the paradox again. Star founders, audits, and Silicon Valley backing don't matter if assets live on a ledger that can be freely misused. Safety is an illusion. Still, the crash pushed the industry forward as exchanges launched proof of reserves to show assets on chain and attention shifted to the next form, decentralized exchanges, DEXs. What did DEXs change and what new challenges did they introduce? We'll dive into that next episode.